Hi, everybody. I'm Dave from the Polypad team at Amplify Classroom, and I am excited to share with you our Polypad updates for November 2025. The first update I want to share is a new way to easily create Amplify Classroom activities directly from a saved Polypad. So I'm going to click Start a New Polypad. I will make one from scratch, maybe just add a few tiles to the canvas here. Uh, I am logged in as an educator. I have an educator account. And when I click Save, what you'll notice is this new Assign button appears that allows me to take my Save Polypad and either assign it directly to my classes in Amplify Classroom or make a single session code that anybody can join. So I could do this with this Save Polypad, but I want to show you uh, that I can also do it from a Save Polypad. So I'll go to my library. And rather than doing any number of my saved polypads, I'm going to open the examples folder, open geometry, go to activities, and open the pentomino zoo. I love this activity where students have to use the 12 pentominoes to try to fill in all of the animals here. I'm going to click assign and click a single session code. I can name this activity, I don't know, fill the animals or something, and then click continue. And you'll see that it automatically is going to open that activity, that save polypad inside of Amplify Classroom. You can see it says fill the animals as the name. Uh, I'm going to make my invite code. You could click here to learn more about invite codes in Amplify Classroom. I'll create the invite code. You can see I have this blue button teach, which I will click. And now here's a code that students can enter at student.amplify.com. Uh, and join this activity. You can see when I go to student here, there is the activity that uh, I've added to this polypad. So really easy to create any saved activity in polypad and in a few clicks, make an activity inside of Amplify Classroom. If I go back here and close this modal, I can go to the apps menu, open polypad, and you'll see now when I go to the same activity, geometry, activities, Pentomino Zoo, this button instead of a sign is now a view assignment button. And when I click this, I go to the landing page of this activity. I could create a new single session code. I could assign it to my classes. All of this can be done from the activity landing page of that saved activity. Uh, really exciting. Let me go back to Polypad here. A lot of uh, easy ways to create save polypads that students can join. So you as a teacher can view their work in real time, can pace and pause them, can take snapshots of their work, all of the wonderful teacher, teacher facilitation tools that are possible inside of Amplify Classroom, you can easily do with any saved polypad uh, and create an activity in Amplify Classroom. Great. Uh, the next thing I want to show is, I'm going to start on the modal again. We have added a new category of tiles in Polypad. We, we've added new, new letter tiles that you can listen to the letters and the sounds and make words. Those letters are not quite yet available in the sidebar for people to make their own activities with. That is coming soon. Stay tuned for the next update. But we have made a number of free lessons and activities for you to use with students. Uh, based on these new letter tiles. So to find this activity, I'm going to click on Discover Free Lessons and Activities right off this modal. You can always get to the modal by going to the Get It Start Getting Started option in the three dots menu. Uh, so let me open that again. I'll click on Discover Free Lessons and Activities. It brings you to the Polypad collection in Amplify Classroom. And the new one here is uh, is, is the literacy pre-K through second grade content. So we have 16 lessons totally free, available for anyone to use. We have ones on lyrics and syllables, letter and phoneme recognition, first, middle, and ending sounds, and a reading category. Let me show you some of these examples here. Let's go with uh, what consonant do you hear? So I will open this activity just like I showed with the Pentomino Zoo. You can make a single session code or assign to students so you can, you can monitor their work. You can 
paste them to certain screens, you can pause the activity, or if you as a teacher want to just have this projected or you're working in a small group, you could just open a screen here and use the activity that way. Press play to hear the mystery consonant sound. I will press play. K K K Maybe I think that's this sound. B. I'm trying to find K. K there we go. K I got it right. I got the check. So that is uh, what consonant you hear. We could say what sound ends the word. A similar type of activity. Let's go with this one. What's the last sound in rat? Hear it again. Rat. Drag the correct sound into the white box, then press check. Maybe I think it's this. Rap. Nope, that's rap. I want rat. Rar. Oh, that's not it. That's rar. Let's try again. Rat. Hey, rat. I got rat. Awesome. So you could do all these. What diagraph ends the word and so on. Uh, and then there are all these fun activities where you make your own sounds and raps with different letters and digraphs. I'll do rap the digraphs. Let's try this screen. Let's do this one. Make a silly song with the digraphs. Press play to hear it when you're done. I. You can drag in any of these digraphs that you like. O. O. A. 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 I. E. O. 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 A. A. I. Let's wrap the digraphs. We could try. Uh, Doing one with vowels, one with commonly confused letters. It's the same idea, B's and D's and P's. Oops. Um, something like this. It's fun ways to get students to connect the sound with the actual letter. Uh, here is the final one. What's the word? Let's try this one. What's the word? So here's the word. I push play. Ton. Tin. Tan. And if I think it's this one, I drag it in. Nope, it's not that one. It's that one. Great. Uh, so all sorts of great activities. Go explore. Use these with students. As I said, these are using the new tiles we are building on Polypad where you can make letters and words. Uh, in a future update, those will be fully available in the sidebar, so you can make your own activities like these. Uh, so stay tuned for future updates. Thanks for watching.